tracked, cornered in the African bush. Another line is about to meet his end at the hands of a wealthy foreign trophy hunter. Another kill and the lion's blood is smeared on their faces as part of the celebration. A century ago, Africa had around 200,000 lions, barely 20,000 remain. Lions are extinct in 26 African countries. Campaigners say trophy hunting is speeding them to oblivion. And not enough action is being taken by governments. In fact, we have this ludicrous situation where international law, supposedly to protect wild animals, actually allows trophy hunters to shoot even endangered animals. Repeated promises by the government here to ban trophy imports of endangered species have come to nothing. Rory Stewart, Liz Truss, Zach Goldsmith, the Tory manifesto, the Queen's speech, on and on. Boris Johnson tweeted, we must end this barbaric practice. Just yesterday, the Environment Department told us there's a clear manifesto commitment to ban the import of hunting trophies from endangered animals, and we continue to work to end this shocking trade. But look at this. Whilst they were making empty promises, CITES, the Trade on Endangered Species official data, shows at least 50 lion trophies and body parts were quite legally imported into the UK, a trade already banned in France, Australia and the Netherlands. As a result of relentless trophy hunting, lions are getting smaller, elephants' tusks are shrinking, even polar bear trophies are reducing in size as well. So the impacts of artificial selection, uh, as well as the huge impact on population numbers of these threatened species as they are now, has been absolutely catastrophic. There can be no doubt about that anymore. Trophy hunters killed 10,000 lions in the decade to 2017, but only half were truly wild. The other half came from South Africa's canned hunts, filmed here by the wildlife campaigner Lord Ashcroft. Captive bred lions are released into fenced areas with no escape to be shot. Tonight, even the global organization overseeing big game hunting says canned lion hunting must end. I think the, the way lions are reared in captivity um, in the, the conditions that many, many of those farms uh, run is totally unacceptable. It would never be allowed in this country. And That's got to go. And, and, and it's got to go. I think it probably has to go. From so-called canned hunting to posing with dead lions, taking trophies, there is one man who stands at the epicentre of all this, according to campaigners, though he denies much of it. He's never given an interview until now. We can't disclose where he lives because he says he gets death threats, but we have agreed to meet him at a different location. So let's go and see what he's got to say. Alex Goss runs Blackthorn Safaris. He used these glossy promotional photos to showcase his business. He's recently taken them down. He told us he's never shot a lion. He says trophy hunting is essential for conservation. What trophy hunters look to do is, is, to, is to hunt the oldest and the most mature animals past breeding and past their prime so you don't actually affect the gene pool at all because that animal is, is not breeding anymore. And we know, because the evidence about this is perfectly clear, that a lot of the trophies that are taken are not lions beyond their their peak, as it were, but lions that are still playing a really important part in maintaining the genetic diversity of the existing gene pool. Campaigners accuse Alex Goss of promoting canned lion hunts. What does he say? The canned lion hunting that I was accused of was not canned hunts. I'm not, I'm not answering questions on canned hunts. And I won't, I won't touch on that subject. But we've got time? No. But you've run canned hunts? No, I don't. That's, that's why I won't answer it, because I'm, I'm accused of running canned hunts. But wild trophy hunting too has a fatal flaw. It's about killing the biggest animals, potentially a fast track to extinction. This is the Safari Club International record book. The bigger the skull, the better the record. A lion's record book score is the sum of its skull measurements. Skull size is of importance for anyone seeking a high ranking. These are areas which I accept warrant careful consideration or reconsideration um, or reconsideration 
we at SCI and, and, and hunters do have to recognise the need for change. With trophy hunting accused now of speeding lions to extinction, we asked Alex Goss if there was any animal he wouldn't kill, no matter how rare. Is there any species that you wouldn't hunt simply because they would be too endangered? I'm thinking, oh, I don't know, leopards or something like that. Or is there any species that would just be off limits because it's just, you, you, the numbers are too low, you can't do this? Um, the, the amount, uh, yeah, the, the, what people think are the actual numbers of animals in the wild isn't actually what the numbers are in the wild. So. Um, the 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 more the more. I mean, would you hunt? Would you shoot a tiger in the wild, for instance? Uh, um, yeah, there's another argument for that, but I'm just wondering if the anything's off, the off, animal, is anything off limits. That's all well, I'm asking. The, the rarer the animal are, is, the more it can be worth. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really know how to answer that without it coming across badly. But if you if you said that you could write a blank check to hunt one old male tiger that's past breeding, what could you do with that blank check? Tonight, big game hunting has at least gone public. Its governing body admitting it needs to change. But campaigners want the government to change to keep its promises and ban importing trophies of endangered species.